Our next speaker can attest to that. While being named captain in any sport is a privilege, the privilege at Harvard, particularly its football team, is really special. Since 1882, Harvard has nominated only one captain for its football team. This year's captain of the football team from Harvard was our own Josh Boyd. If you go to Harvard's roster, you would see all these very, very elite schools across the country. The person chose to lead all those fine young men was the CM alum. Josh Boyd is Catholic Memorial Class of 2009 and the 140th captain of Harvard's football. In reporting on this story, a Boston Globe article began thusly. The Harvard football captain was a published poet before he began playing football. Joshua Boyd didn't play team sports until high school. Once he got underway, his freshman high school coach told Boyd's father, Josh is too nice to play football. Well, we're here to testify that coach was right. He's a very nice guy, but he missed on the second part. He was not too nice to play football. He was preceded to Catholic Memorial by his older brother, Eric. Catholic Memorial class of 2004. Josh's career at Catholic Memorial was nothing short of stellar. In football, Josh was twice named all Catholic conference, and he captained our team, as did his brother, five years ago. In wrestling, Josh won 100 matches, including a state championship in the 215-pound weight class. In the classroom, Josh excelled, being elected to the National Honor Society and he was his class's valedictorian, which for our school means he was number one in the class. <laughs> Students and parents from the class of 2009, Josh Boyd. Good evening. I want to thank Mr. Ryan for reaching out to me to be a part of this special evening. I always tell people that CM is like a second home to me, and I am honored to have the opportunity to speak in front of you all tonight. Students, you should be proud that you have the honor and privilege of attending Catholic Memorial. I graduated from Catholic Memorial almost five years ago, but I have not forgotten for one second the many values and lessons I learned, both in the classroom and on the athletic field. I was first introduced to CM when my older brother, Eric, attended the school in 2001. As the time drew near for my parents and I to choose which high school would be best for me, I began to notice the young man my brother was becoming and the type of friends he was making. He always commented on the close relationships he had with the teachers and how much fun he was having playing on the football team. After hearing nothing but positive feedback from Eric, I knew I had to find out for myself. As a freshman, I had the pleasure of having Mr. Gattano as my English teacher. He was also my AP English teacher as a senior. Besides being exposed to a curriculum filled with classic written works, I learned about the value of paying attention to the little things. Mr. Gattano is an embodiment of commitment to excellence, and I believe this is because of his pride in doing everything the right way. Whether he was analyzing the grace of rap or providing wisdom on the track to his runners, one cannot help but notice his emphasis on the details. You can always count on Mr. Katana to be there for you and for him to give his all. These qualities had a profound impact on my development, and it was truly a blessing to be around someone who cared so much about his students and fellow teachers. Mr. Katana taught me that in order to do extraordinary work, you have to do little things better than anyone else. In addition to academics, athletics played a significant role in my life. CM not only provided me with a top-notch education from dedicated teachers, but it also presented opportunities to learn from some amazing coaches. Coach Campia has always inspired me with his positive outlook on life and his upbeat personality. Coach Campia never hesitated to remind us that the sun always shines on CM football. 
My coach at Harvard always stresses that the best teams possess positive mental attitude. And I believe my experiences on the gridiron as a knight provided me with a solid foundation to build upon. Also, Coach Campia always emphasized that CM Nuts always show boys in class, in victory or defeat, and in all other facets of life. Since my days of wearing silver and red, I have continued to understand further how my actions not only represent myself, but my family, teammates, and school. Whether in the classroom, on the field, in the workplace, or walking down the street, it is important to treat everyone you encounter with respect. And I can safely say that Coach Campia held immensely in my realization of how crucial this quality is for leading a good life. Bill Hahn is another man that I could proudly say is a great coach, mentor, and friend of mine. Coach Hahn was my freshman football and varsity wrestling coach. And anyone who has ever had the pleasure to play for him can attest to his fiery personality and intensity during practices. I can assure you that there are few men in this world who push their students and athletes harder to succeed than Bill Hahn. Coach constantly challenged me to work harder than everyone else and to get comfortable being uncomfortable during those tough matches and while conditioning in practice. One quote that always resonates with me from Coach Hahn is, be dependable, push your partner. Your work ethic determines your dependability. And if you pride yourself on being a hard worker, it is your responsibility as a leader to bring up the level of those around you. The mental toughness that Coach instilled in me not only prepared me to win a state championship my senior year, but it also helped me succeed as a student athlete at the highest level. My biggest takeaway from my time in the Harvard football program is that adversity always finds its way to rear its ugly head in our lives. And it is the mentally tough individuals who can overcome any obstacle that comes their way. Without the lessons I learned from my experiences in the wrestling room, I would not be as well equipped to handle adversity. I believe that another key to succeeding in anything you do is having confidence in yourself. I'll be the first to admit that I have had self-confidence issues when trying to perform up to my expectations under pressure. These issues would still exist if it were not for all the coaches and teachers at CM who always believed in me and taught me to believe in myself. CM was also instrumental in developing my leadership skills. I had the opportunity to serve as a team captain on the football and wrestling teams, and it definitely helped prepare me to take on the responsibility that comes with being the sole captain of the Harvard football team. My relationships with my teachers and coaches continue to this day, and I was honored to see them in the stands at Harvard Stadium during this past season. I know that my connection with these men will last a lifetime. As I end my time at Harvard, I reflect back to my times as a teenager at CM. And one word that comes to mind is brotherhood. The sense of community is unbelievable, as I know CM is a place that I can always go back to, especially during the off season for a workout, just like old times. My experiences as a knight show me the importance in being mindful of the company you keep, and I am blessed to say that I am surrounded by many wonderful people in my life. I also reflect on how I was a young teenager from the inner city, unsure of the possibility of attending an Ivy League institution. I am very fortunate that I have parents who instilled a blue collar mentality in me and made incredible sacrifices to make sure both of their sons had the opportunity to attend a school like CM. I would have never imagined that I'd be going to school playing football at Harvard nine years ago, but CM and my family show me that anything is possible with hard work. Students, please thank your parents. Like mine, I'm sure they have made many sacrifices so that you may sit here tonight. Finally, to the young men who are here this evening, I want to congratulate you. Please remember that Catholic Memorial is not just another high school. As you go through the next four years, you will see that in addition to being prepared, you will also learn that the goal of education is to empower others in the same way that Christ did for his followers. In other words, at the end of the day, it is your obligation to make others' lives better. Thank you, good luck, and God be with you.